Sister Lock Talk number six. I never wanted locks. Changing perspectives. <laughs> In elementary school, I would go to my aunt's salon to get my hairstyle, and I started getting a press. And I remember I begged my mom for a perm, so I would get my hair perm. And I remember there's always someone who would come into the shop on Saturday to sell products, and there was this older guy that would come in, and I don't know how he was, but I was young, so he looked old to me. So this old guy that would come in, and he had this long hair. And it was in locks, but it was uh, matted. It was like he had one lock that was like a sheet. He had one lock that was small. He had one lock that was um, another length. So he had several different um, sizes of locks in his hair. And I had never seen like hair that was in a sheet. And it was like, um, it looked dirty. So that was like one of my first... Uh, times encountering someone with locks and um, or dreads and I was like how could he wear his hair like that I just didn't understand it so I was like no I never see myself wearing my hair like that fast forward a couple of years and I started to see younger people with locks and I started to see not only men with locks but I started to see women because for the longs I only saw men with locks it was like a masculine thing but um i started to see women with locks and i started to see women with well-groomed locks and then i started to see women who were locks not just straight down but they would style the locks would add curls to it and they would add color to it so i started to see that locks weren't just this way of wearing your hair and not taking care of it. It wasn't a way of just having your hair just form a sheet of matted hair on this side. You have one lock hanging here. And you have some hair matting on this side. It was more than just that. Now that's one way of main maintaining your hair that way. But it was more than just that. I started to see that. Fast forward a little more time. And I finally heard about sister locks. And even though I had seen traditional locks and they were curled. People were styling, they weren't just wearing them straight down. I saw um, professional women with these locks. I saw, um, you know, those who were more athletic and sporty with these locks. I saw a wide range of people with locks. I had not seen anyone with sister locks. So my aunt told me when I had loose nap, she said, you should look into getting sister locks. I guess she was tired of me wearing my afro. But so I was halfway paying her attention, but I decided to look up what she told me. When I looked it up, I was like, this looks like loose hair, but it was locks. And I had never seen anyone in person with them, or if I had, I didn't know it was locks. And so once again, my perspective of what locks were or what they could be changed again. And I started to consider that I could see myself with locks, even though from that time in my aunt's alone when I was a kid, I never saw myself with locks. I started to see myself as being able to wear them. I could see myself rocking that. Um, I continue to think about it, continue to look up information, made it to YouTube to look up information, looked at pictures, and uh, some of the pictures are outdated, then I started to see newer pictures, uh, but I decided to go ahead and go for it, to go ahead and start the process. And then, joining the lock community has changed my perspective even more. Having um, an opportunity to interact with other people with locks experiencing having locks has changed my perspective as well so even though starting them, i still had some myths in place some myths in my mind um but having them i know that those myths aren't true um so my my thoughts about locks have shifted from um you know different things i have encountered with locks over the years my perspective shift over the years has just taught me that black hair it is complex, it is wide, it is unique, and it is beautiful. And while there's several different ways you can wear your locks, there's several different ways you can maintain your locks, there's several different ways you can maintain natural hair. 
one is not superior to the other. It's all about what suits you. But over the years, my idea of what locks could be or what locks represent or um, how locks are maintained have definitely changed. It's not just a style that's dreadful or having one sheet of hair matted. It's not a style just for people who are sporty or athletic or it's not a style just for men. It's not masculine. It's also feminine. It's for anyone who wants to maintain them. That's been my shift over the years. Thinking that only one group of people wore locks and this is the way they wore them. Same with natural hair. Thinking that only one group of people wore natural hair and this is the way they wore it in an afro. When there's multiple styles with natural hair, loose natural hair, and there's multiple styles with locks. It's hair. Enjoy it. Love it. And don't forget to style it. <laughs> and no matter how you wear your hair, it's beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you. I would love for you to chime in and comment below about how your perspective on locks has changed. And it may be they have changed, but you still don't want to get locks or you now have locks. But when you first encounter locks or when you used to think about locks, you never saw it as something you would ever get. Just comment below with um, anything you would like pertaining to this topic about never wanting locks or thinking you would never get locks and then you now have them or you're now thinking about getting them. And if you don't have locks and you're considering it, what are your thoughts behind it? Like what has shifted your your thoughts to make you consider getting locks? Um, I think it's an interesting topic. I, um, yeah, when I went loose natural, getting locks was not the end goal. I was like, I want my hair to um, be flowing down my back and I want it to be loose natural. That's, that's what my thought was. I just wanted healthy hair. And um, I decided that locking was a way to have healthy hair and to have length and for um, it to be an easy way to maintain it. So I wouldn't have to do so much detangling, combing. And I'm tender-headed, so the fact that I don't have to use combs is all right with me. <laughs> I've not used a comb in five years and I do not miss it. But, uh, yeah, just some things I was thinking about I wanted to share with you all. Please chime in, tell me your thoughts. Comment on something I've shared in this video or something you've been thinking about. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up button. Thank you for commenting and sharing this video. If you haven't already, connect with me on my other social media. Screen name is IBYL on Instagram and Twitter. And it's IBYL09 on Facebook. I look forward to hearing from you. And you have a good day. I always get that question too, are your locks heavy? Is your hair heavy? And even before I got to this length, I got to